What's up? So, if you're watching this, then you saw, well, hopefully saw my introduction video. That I'm going to start doing uh, scary stories and stuff from what I've personally experienced uh, firsthand over the years. So, this is going to be story number one. And this is 100%, and I'm not lying or making crap up, okay? This is going to be 100% accurate and 100% honest and truthful. And this first one, I actually have a witness who was there with me who actually saw the exact same thing that I saw that helps even further validate um, my experience and stuff, okay? It actually happened to be my own girlfriend, Sarah, you know? Um, so we had just, we were leaving our house out here in Pickaway County, right? And we were heading out to her parents' house out towards Groveport. Um, just a little somewhat past Rickenbacker, you know, out in that area or whatever, you know. Um, it was dark. It was kind of nighttime and stuff. Um, we, we were either going over there to visit or something, or we were going over there to pick something up or drop something off. I don't completely remember the actual details of the visit or anything like that. But I all I know is that... We were leaving the house, it was dark, um, and we were heading to her parents' house out, out towards the Groveport area or whatever, you know? And there's different ways to get there, obviously, but the most common way, um, not so much really anymore, but at that time, the most common way that we took, took us around uh, the Rickenbacker Air Base, you know? Um, and from there, here to there, it's about maybe a 30, 34 minute drive depending on traffic and conditions and stuff like that you know what I mean so check this out so we're about maybe maybe 80 percent there almost right and we're just getting up towards Rickenbacker Air Base and there's this one particular road that you um you go over this bridge you know and then you come to a four-way intersection and you go left. And if you go left, there's an old abandoned um, white church on that road. And then there's two different um, trailer parks also, one uh, right beside each other. I believe that they're two different trailer parks. Um, and then a little further up past the parks um, is a Goodyear tire factory or plant or something I'm not entirely sure and then at the end of the road the road kind of stops you can't go straight any further once you get down too far um, the road stops and cuts off and goes either left or right you know and looking head on to it there's a fence and the fence wraps around obviously the entire perimeter of the Rickenbacker Air Base so you can't go any further you know what I mean so we're coming up over that bridge and we had just turned left at that intersection right and we're going down that road, starting to go down that road, passing the old white church. Everything's on our right side, you know what I mean? So we're passing the old white church, and we're almost about halfway down that road, and we're like kind of just passing the uh, the two trailer parks and stuff on that road. And like I said, it's nighttime. <clears throat> it's super dark. You know, the only thing really lighting anything up is the headlights of the car shining down the road. You know, and then a couple of random lights here and there, like a street light or two, scattered about or whatever. You know, um, and you can see the fence, like the perimeter of the Rickenbacker Air Base, you know, as we're approaching. You know what I mean? Because we've taken this road so many times. And, and I've taken it even more times, you know what I mean, <clears throat> going out towards that area. So I'm very familiar with the road and how, what comes up and stuff and, <clears throat> sorry, and where everything is, you know what I mean. Um, and we've taken it so many times before in the past, you know, so we knew the layout, you know, is what I'm trying to say. So we're coming up about right in the middle of this stretch of road where the trailer parks are past the church. And we can see the fence of the Rickenbacker perimeter of the air base or whatever. And right above, up in the sky, above the Rickenbacker air base, all of a sudden, with no warning or nothing like that, no indication, this strange red light just lights up. 
and just stays lit. And the best way to describe it was it almost looked like <clears throat> like a red traffic light, you know? Like, literally like a red traffic light had just turned on at an intersection or something. But it was in the sky. It was so strange. And it wasn't moving or anything like that. It was literally just standstill in the same spot. It wasn't moving or anything. It was just kind of like, kind of just like sitting there, you know, kind of just floating or something, right? And it was super strange. And it wasn't attached to anything. It wasn't like a light at the top of like a radio tower or an antenna or anything weird like that because we later went to the area after we had seen this and literally scoped out the entire area and there was no towers or antennas or anything in this particular area it was just a super big empty grass field with the fence parallel with it there's nothing there no poles no antennas nothing and definitely nothing within that particular area that could generate a light or anything like that, right? So we're getting closer and closer down this road and we're seeing this red light that has just like appeared out of nowhere. <clears throat> and we're getting closer and closer and we're almost to the almost coming up towards the end of this road and this red light all of a sudden just shoots down into the ground and just disappears. And it doesn't come, it doesn't resurface or come back up or light back up or anything like that. It just shoots down extremely fast, vanishes into thin air, and never appears again. So after seeing that, we were kind of off guard. You know, we were kind of shook a little bit. We're like, what the heck was that, right? And when I saw that, I even made the same kind of ops, the same, you know, um, guesses and stuff that maybe it was a light at like an antenna tower or something like that. But like I said, so we roll up, you know, kind of sit in front of this fence now because now we're kind of intrigued as to what we just saw and we're extremely curious, you know. So we're sitting there, We then we turn our brights on. We got our headlights shining out into the field through the fence into this area where this thing had gone into, right? Um, and then we, we got the, light, the headlights on, the brights, we got the fog lights lit, like we got this whole thing like lit up with our lights from our car. And we got the window, we cracked the windows down to try to hear for something, right? And there's literally nothing there. There's no helicopter, there's no plane, there's no drone, there's nothing like that anywhere near that area. Which makes no sense, because obviously if it was a plane or a helicopter and we were that close, you know what I mean? Um, you would definitely see that, you know what I mean? And I don't know about you, but you can hear airplanes when they're hundreds and hundreds of feet up in the sky, you know what I mean? I don't know if you've ever stood next to an airplane when it's uh, turbines and stuff are on, but it's extremely loud. Same with a helicopter. Helicopter's propeller is super loud, guys. You know, but it doesn't matter because it's not like an airplane or helicopter freaking crashed into the freaking ground, disappeared, and didn't leave a trace, didn't make an impact on the ground or anything. It's just this random red light came on. As we got closer and closer, it shoots down to the ground and just disappears. And we sat out there for a while, looking around, listening, you know, for this thing to maybe come back or something and it's like dead silent out there there's not a single sound like emitting other than like traffic off in the distance on another road or something like that but other than that it's like there's nothing there's no noise or sound or anything like that just you know the sound of the you know the engine of our car and stuff <clears throat> so after a while of sitting out there and nothing happening we well, there's really nothing we could do. and There's nothing we could further do at that point. You know what I mean? We can't stay out there all night. So we kind of just, you know, we backed back up, got back up on the main road, you know, because I said at the end of this road, you either go left or right. So we backed up off this fence, went left, and just continued on to her parents' house, you know? And I think when we eventually got to her parents' house, I think we had told them what we had just seen you know, because it was so crazy and it was so fresh in our mind that we just couldn't stop thinking about it or talking about it, <clears throat> you know. So we talked talk to her parents and stuff, 
<clears throat> and yeah, they were just as shocked and as surprised as we were. And in all my years and all the trips of taking that road, I have never seen anything like that. And even to this day, since then, I have never experienced or seen that light like ever again. Like, I don't know what it was. The grass was all completely still there, intact. There was no smell, no burning smells of like gas or an engine or smoke or fire or anything like that. It was clean air. Grass was un, you know, unscathed and there was nothing like literally nothing um it was so bizarre and <clears throat> i don't know if it was a ufo or what it was um but it's super strange because you hear stories about ufos how the light can kind of just sit there like kind of floating and hovering in, in midair and just shoot off and dart but usually they shoot off and dart either to the left or to the right or they go like up or something you don't really hear about one shooting down into the ground and it's not like it was water you know what i mean it could, it's not like it went into underwater and like resurfaced later or something it was ground if it would have hit it would have hit you know and dug up dirt and made an impact or something unless they can freaking teleport and go through solid objects like i don't know what else, how, like how else you could explain something like that you know what i mean so like I said, to this day, I don't know if it was a UFO or literally what it was, but it was super freaking weird. You know, and she saw the exact same thing that I saw, so she can validate the story and everything, right? But I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Um, keep an eye out, guys, or if you've had any similar experiences or seen a weird red light in the sky that kind of just appeared and just sh took off and disappeared and was never seen again, or anything similar to that I mean feel free to reach out let me know you know share your story <clears throat> and stuff you know it'd be cool to find somebody that has had a similar experience to mine because so far I haven't um, found anything like that so it is kind of strange and kind of frustrating you know what I mean but all right that's gonna do it for this one guys I uh, hope you liked it hope you're not too creeped out but take it easy be careful about <laughs> going out at night, you know, on back roads and stuff, and keep an eye out in the sky, <laughs> you know. Well, all right, that's going to do it, guys. I'll see you.